Hello everybody, today I am going to do an app review of an app that I got a few months ago. It is called Emerald Observatory, and that right there is the icon that you see on the home screen. And so let's open it up. And there it is. It's basically a big clock. So you can see right now the time is 8.54. Um, so what's the point of this app? Well, it displays a lot of cool information. For example, you have the time of sunrise, um, that's solar noon, uh, this right here is sunset, and those blue lines, those blue arrows represent the times of twilight. Um, these rings on the, the large circle you can see right there, there's a green ring right there, and there's a purple one, and yeah, well anyways, those rings display the rise and set times of several planets, including um, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and that one's the moon. So, this right here is a clock that displays the time in UTC, which is a time zone, um, so... This is solar time, if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. And this is something called sidereal time, I don't even know what that is. So, anyways, so some other things that this app displays are, that's the current moon phase. Um, as you can see, it's almost a full moon. Um, this right here is a map of the world showing the light and dark regions. Um, so as you can see, it's currently dark where I am. That's the date. December 24th, 2010. Um, this is the altitude of the sun. Um, right now it's currently, um, about 45 degrees below the horizon. So it's pretty dark outside. This is, says sun azimuth. So, that's the direction the sun is facing. So right here is the equation of time. You can look that one up too. And, this is something called an eclipse simulator, which, whenever there's a solar eclipse or whatever, it displays the um, a simulation of the eclipse, basically. Uh, it's pretty cool, but I haven't really worked out exactly how this works yet, so... Something else I like about this app is that you can actually change the time on here by hitting that right there, the button called set, and it's not really clear right now, but you can change the time by minutes, hours, days, moon phases, months, years, and even centuries. And so if you want to go forward in time to see, I don't, you know, the, sun, the sunrise time for tomorrow or something, just hit that button right there that says day. And there you go. That's the uh, the same information except for, for tomorrow's date. And you can go forward by month if you want to, or by year, or by century, whatever. And these red buttons are... You hit these if you want to go back in time. So if you want to... I don't know, if you wanted to know what yesterday's sunrise and sunset times were, then just, you know, go back a few days. Um, so, yeah. So, I just hit the reset button, so now it's displaying today's date again, December 24th, 2010. Um, oh yeah, one other cool thing about this is, if you hit this button right here, the little eye in the lower left hand, lower right hand corner, um, there's a lot of different options you can select. Um, you can turn an alarm on this app. It sounds kind of cool. You want to hear it? It sounds like this. Yeah. I'm going to be using that alarm on New Year's Eve, so I just like the way it sounds. Um, here is a place where you can set your location. Um, that location, as you can see, I put in 45 for the latitude and minus 75 for the longitude. That actually isn't my true location, but if you want to know, then all you have to do is 
change the location services to on and it automatically displays your true location as you can see mm. wait for it there we go so that's my actual location I know it's kind of blurry but well you don't need to know where I live so um oh yeah and one other cool thing about this is um one second here this button says display auto lock and basically what it does is if you set it to on then the the uh your device won't just go in sleep mode or whatever um with periods of inactivity so that way you can display this clock for well until basically your device runs out of batteries um so yeah that makes an excellent display piece because it won't just all of a sudden go in sleep mode on you we know how annoying that is all right, so this is just a long paragraph of information and a bunch of legal stuff that I don't really care about. Um, and, well, that's about it. So, again, this app is called Emerald Observatory for iPad. It is 99 cents in the App Store, so if you're interested in this kind of information, then I would recommend it. But even if you're not, it's still pretty and it'd make a nice display app be nice to show somebody exactly what the iPad can do and might convince them into um, getting one. Well, that's it for today, so I'll see you next time.